Yo, 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 what is up? And welcome back to another episode of the Yo, Yo, Yo podcast with Martin and Hooter. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in one more time. Hope you're doing great. Um, spring is here, Hooter. The birds are singing, and it's about to rain again. Another week, another rainstorm. Another week, another rainstorm. Um, dude, so we're recording right now. It's the 20th. I used to hide my birthday. I never just wanted to talk about it. But now, in a few hours, because I was born at 1 a.m., Mm. Pacific Standard Time, mm. right at the time of when the uh, moon goes from Pisces to Aries, and it's a time of change, it's a time of new beginnings, and it's a lot of Aries energy. Um, mm. That's where I come in, with a lot of Aries energy, just right off the goddamn bat, right there, like, boom, no more Pisces, it's all about the Arieses, and... Um, born at 1 a.m they say that your most creative moments are when you were born the time that you were born in life is when your creativity is at its peak i guess which is why i'm fucking thrive at bars right before closing time hilarious <laughs> who knew that's hysterical no it's 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 uh okay, what 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 it's what it's, it's facts bro it's facts <laughs> get out dude <laughs> oh well i just drive because i'm a drunk yeah. <laughs> i've done it to my moon signs <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro oh shit um so yeah that's uh that's it dude i've been celebrating all year oh i've literally oh, been what's celebrating the deal? what's the deal year. what are you gonna do uh what's we're, the plans we're gonna uh, nothing big we're just gonna go have dinner early dinner Mm-hmm. 55 you qualify the, bro the get them seniors you qualify the early bird special mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ka-ka! <laughs> Who, what's that i'm an early bird <laughs> that's it dude i know i know um no regular dinner oh. um yeah late night dinner not late night but you know evening dinner mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um cheeky's taking me to some place i guess it's called um olive it garden Chica? olive garden como Mama por Dios. Oh my God, mom. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. I don't know how it translates. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 one of these scandalous places. Right? Like when you, like they just make a barullo for everything, you know? So you order shots and then they come screaming and singing and dancing and twerking and flaming. Mm-hmm. They, they they just, mm-hmm. you know, they're all twerking and giving you shots. It's one of those places, right? Like, I don't know if Ch- Chiki's taking me for my birthday, but I think it's been mostly for her. She likes the music. She likes the twerking. She likes all that. So it's mostly for her. But it's okay. I'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, 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 it is what it is. It's like you turn 55 once. It, but. <laughs> but, but let me go to Chiki's favorite restaurant. <laughs> it's like when you brought me Red Velvet. Because it's what you like. No, no. I did not take it. They brought it to you. Which, by the way, the last party at the goddamn mm-hmm. Nina's house, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they had red velvet ice cream cake. They did. And boy, did my dad mow that shit down. No. Not only did he mow it down. Only because it was ice cream. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. The day you had red velvet, there was ice cream there. You could have fucking put ice cream. <laughs> you could have made your own ice cream cake. <laughs> Fuck it, it's your birthday. You make your own. Suffer, like your dad did. He got no cake when he was in the chicken coop. Go make your own goddamn freeze it. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> you want it? You want ice cream? Put it in the freezer. You see, <laughs> all that shit. No, you I talk, did bro. mow it down. I did mow it down. I, but I like ice cream cake, Hooter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm a big ice cream guy, and ice cream tears me up. I shouldn't be eating ice cream. You're lactose. I'm lactose. Oh, lactose and, intolerant for sure. And so you just say fuck it? I do. And um you know, I've had really bad moments. Um you, you know it's funny we were just in Columbus and um and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but one of the first times we ever played at the Funny Bone in Columbus, Ohio, we went to a place called Steak and Shake before Steak and Shake came to the uh, West Coast. Mm-hmm. And so we'd never been there. And I remember we were, I was, we, I was pretty lit. I was pretty loaded. You know, ordered whatever you ordered. But then they have these shakes. And um, you could mix them, like vanilla, like, you you know, this combo shake, right? Mm -hmm. So I did strawberry and probably vanilla or something. Mm -hmm. I did something. I did some kind of concoction. 
and I and I ordered a giant one <laughs> after drinking. Like after my, my, drinking, yes, dude. Yes, yikes. yes, yes, yes. At only had a few hours to sleep, and then had to get up and go to the airport. And I remember I was sharing a room. It was before Fluffy blew, blew up, mm-hmm. and we're still sharing rooms and things. I remember I was sharing a room with Fluffy. It was a, a one of them, you know, the residence. Was it the residence in that has those suites oh, with, with two all bedrooms? of them? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. like they, they have, it was like a condo. Bro. Yeah, it's almost like a little condo, yeah. right? Where like there's a, a a room and then there's another room and then you have your own and bathroom. There's like a and living, a living room, room in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yes, kind of like the place Kitchen. we lived in in um, Fullerton. Yeah, that's where Felipe burnt the fucking hot dog. Remember? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Well, same type of place. Yeah, and uh, and so we're getting ready to go to the airport. I go, fuck, I got to shit again. And I remember being in the bathroom, and I, that was like my third time since we had gotten back. Mm-hmm. It hit me right away. And I remember crying. I remember I was crying because it hurt so much to shit, and my ass was so raw. Go ahead. What's lactose? That you're trying to shit, but it doesn't come No, out? lactose or is milk. Intolerant, though. Like when somebody has that issue. When What's you're lactose issue? intolerant, you just sh- it gives you the runs. Oh, the runs! It I always thought runs. like you had you had the urge to go, but nothing can oh, come no. out. No, no, damn, no. that's brutal. So yeah, you, and it, when it comes, it comes. Oh, it comes and it doesn't stop, and it just like when your ass hurts to shit because you're hurting. You're sh- and I remember just praying, please God, make it stop. And then I didn't do any kind of shakes until we went to. We went to Detroit. We we're in a place uh, called, um, it's not called Sag Nasty, but they call it Sag Nasty. Mm-hmm. Uh, I f- what the fuck is the name? Google Sag Nasty, Chiki, and find out what the real city is called. Uh, how horrible is it that I just know it by the name? Uh, Saginaw. Oh. Saginaw, Michigan. Mm-hmm. And um, they had like one of those like foster freeze type of places. Mm hmm. And they had malt. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a malt. And I, you know, malt is just powdered milk, right? Mm. That they add to the to the shake, to the ice cream. And it just makes it a malt. And that malt taste, I don't know if you ever had a malt. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's my dad. And, and it comes in the, yes. like those. Oh, those little, those metal. Metal, yes. tin. Oh, it's beautiful. Long thing, yeah. Well, I fucked around and had a malt. And again, and then I remember looking at Ivan and, and Gabe and saying, hey, man, if I ever, if I ever, if you ever see me order a goddamn malt or a shake again, ever in the history of ever, please, you have permission to not only slap it out of my hand, but slap the shit out of me and say, what are you doing? Please do that for me. And it happens to everybody, huh, at a certain age? Not everybody, no, I, uh, or or people just say fuck it and they don't care. I think people say fuck it. Too. I think they say fuck it because because I don't think we're meant to eat to digest cow milk. Not at a certain age, bro. Shit, that's it. You know, it's, yeah. You got to stop, bro. Because I remember and eating certain. Things. So here's the thing: I I came up in the generation where milk was shoved down our throat, mm. like. It was a big deal, dude. But dude, vitamin D milk, whole milk. You had to get your eight or twelve ounces of that shit in school every single fucking day. They had a milk monitor in kindergarten. Go get the milk. Mm -hmm. You go get the milk and everybody gets the milk. And then later on I found out it's because it's shit milk. But the dairy farmers had such a huge lobby group Mm. that they passed a law that every kid in California and I don't know where else, but I know that in California and in Los Angeles specifically, the Los Angeles uh, Unified School District, by law, every kid had to receive. Ex- so the school system literally became a dumping ground for these guys to sell their shit milk. Bastards. But that's how powerful that lobby group was. And at the time, I didn't know it. Dude, they must have made tons. A fortune. A for- on something that was garbage. Yeah. And, and they sold it as it's good for your bones, it's got ca- calcium, and it's got blah, 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 and yada, yada. And uh, so, so, but meanwhile, I grew up on milk mm-hmm. and, and I learned to love milk. Like glass of milk. Glass of milk. Up. Glass of milk. Dude, up until my, fuck dude, I'm embarrassed to say it. 
but up until my early 30s, no. not only was I drinking a cold glass of milk, but I was, I'd get a glass and I'd put a stack of cookies in there mm. and then I'd pour the milk in there and then I'd eat the soggy cookies and then I'd fill it up with milk again and then fuck up the milk with the cookie crumbs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I and it used to just put me to sleep. <laughs> it used to put me to me means, bro. But you know, it's 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 milk. It's got right. whatever the hell the freaking dry melatonin, bro. It's got melatonin. <laughs> it's got tryptophan. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, so I. I it so then I went from whole milk. Hey, and Bisas bought into that, huh? Oh, Bisas were all about milk, all about milk. Still, still. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I, that I didn't know. Well, tomate la leche. Uh, yeah, I'm part of a few uh, Bisa communities on Facebook. Oh, and oh, dude, they're I big. I didn't even know the, you were on Facebook. They're still. big on the leche, bro. On the leche. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> anyway, I then switched to two percent. Low fat, mm. and I thought, you know, this is better. Mm-hmm. It, it went from the red cap to the orange cap. That was the two percent. Then it went one percent, and then it was like a a blue or purple cap, and it was non fat milk. Yikes! And I was drinking non fat milk for a minute. You're kidding, dude? I, no, I had to wean myself off. Um, I was drinking it, and and and. I loved it with cereal, bro. I loved cereal with milk. I loved cereal with milk. I loved for a long time. I um oh, I remember, dude. Do you? Dude, you used to have that one with the clusters in it. What was it? Yeah. Honey bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oats, like bro. A motherfucker. <laughs> yes. Yes. I had that. Raisin brand. I, I loved ra- that, bro, they convinced me that it was good for cholesterol. <laughs> I bought into all that goddamn bullshit. And that's why I don't trust the government no more or the Bro. FDA. Oh, I dude, two scoops of raisins. Let's go, dude. That's so crazy. I you love cereal. I've been Loved binging um, Seinfeld like it's on every night. I'm a pad. cereal guy. Cere- humongous cereal guy. Elaine comes in, she pours herself a bowl of cereal, bro. Like oh, all those cereals that are right there. Yep, yep. It's so funny, dude. The '90s were. Big on that shit. Eighties, nineties, dude. The eighties, the eighties were pushing so much sugar on these cereals, dude. Dude, that's what I, we stopped buying the kids these fucking cereals because I was like, wait a minute, dude. Why do we keep buying this? And then I started doing like this deep dive, bro. Those fucking cereals are hor. They're like the yes. worst thing the you can worst give thing your you could kid. put into your system mm-hmm. for a kid. Yeah. Well, not the worst, but it's pretty. Bad. I mean, it's up there, dude. Yeah. There's no reason to be eating it every morning. No. But the commercials, they're great. Dude, I was eating Tony the Tiger. And Frosted adding sugar flakes. even. Bro, Frosted Flakes. Frosted. And then you had Corn Flakes, right? Mm-hmm, Which mm-hmm. had no sugar. Mm-hmm. But you would drown it in sugar. I remember the cereal would be gone. It would be the bottom of the milk and just wet sugar sugar and you're just scooping that motherfucker up bro like but that's what you know my parents didn't know any better so cereal with sugar i remember the cuatas used to do that bro bro and they taught me how to do it and i was like okay were you fucking it up oh yeah but i didn't last long because i hated milk dude I was like this freak kid that everybody thought I was the weirdest fucking kid because you didn't ever, like milk. Because I didn't like milk. milk. You were so eating your cereal enough, dry enough to stop eating cereal. Like everybody's like, you don't like fucking uh, what, what, fruit tricks? pebbles and tricks and all this. I was like, bro, not enough to fucking put milk up in that bitch, bro. <laughs> and like, even as an adult, bro. Like I remember being. 20. You didn't like lechi? No, dude. I remember being twenty, dude, and Busy Billy came out to visit me. From the dirty tea, and I took him to a breakfast place, and I got a coffee, and this fuck ordered a milk, bro. And I said, hey, man, 
order a fucking coffee, dude. He's like, what? you don't fucking drink milk? I said, hey, dude, you're fucking 20 years old, bro. Order a coffee, asshole. What are you going to do? Have a milk mustache with your fucking do, pancakes? Do you, do you understand that I didn't do coffee until my 30s? That's bananas, dude. I did not fuck with coffee until, but, but, but coffee wasn't as big as it is it now. It used to be, don't stay away, dude. Yes, it was decaf. They would tell, yeah, they would tell and, the people, and, and don't drink more than one cup. Yeah, because... no, no, no. It was crazy. Yeah, they, they, it was taboo, yep. uh, especially for kids. I remember that. Uh, you all the sugar. We get your Kool Aid because it's got vitamin C, and you have some cereal with dude, sugar. Kool Aid, but tang, dude, fucking all of that, all that. The, the fucking the big sunny delight, bro. Soda, soda. Yes, it was so. Dude. Have you bought a case of soda recently? Chiki buys it by the pounds, bro. How much? She buys a lot. How much do you pay for a 12 pack? It depends if it's on sale or not. But it's getting more expensive. Bro, the other day we we went to go buy a 12 pack of soda. It was $6. Is that a lot? For a 12 pack? For a 12 pack. That doesn't sound like a lot. So for fucking poison? <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. No, but when you buy one soda, it's like a dollar fifty at AMPM. Mm-hmm. You're looking at you're looking at more than fifteen dollars for twelve pack. No, no, no. That, that, but that's what I remember. To, I remember it to. being the it, I remember it yeah. being like two forty nine and it kind of got like stuck for in my a 12 brain. Twelve pack? I, don't I think that, that was the last time I bought it, really, because I don't buy it. So I'll see it on sale for like, you know, you buy three of them for like nine ninety nine. That's what I've seen too. Three yeah. for nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's what. It and if you buy Mexican Coke, you're paying twenty bucks a case. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No. 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 I mean, look. That's bananas, dude. Yeah, all that shit, bro. All that shit was just it's, yeah, so getting we, so... Dude. I mean, fucking Kobe was drinking Sprite, you know, talking about, you want to play like me? Drink Sprite. Fuck and eat McDonald's. Here. And eat McDonald's. You know? Um, no, we, we had, like, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but we used to buy sugar by sacks of sugar. We had literally bag, big, ginormous bags of sugar and um, we had this bucket, this giant white bucket under the um, the cupboards, mm -hmm. and um, and my mom would fill it up. It had a lid. And she'd fill this thing up with sugar, and um, and that's where we we you know we had a thing. She had a little thing of sugar for uh, coffee that she would have, and everybody would fuck. Whenever people would come over, they drink coffee. And and dude, you saw even when my mom had uh, dementia. Mm -hmm. Uh, how much? Like she'd always say, "It's not sweet enough. It's not sweet enough. It's not um, sweet bro, enough." Sometimes it'd be like undrinkable, <laughs> and she'd still be like, "No, no, no, no." I'm like, "Lady, what the fuck?" And you're like, you know what? Fuck it. You got the mentor. You're gonna die anyway. Fuck Here's here. milk and sugar, lady. Yeah, you know. And but but all her friends would do the same thing. You just do you know throw milk and some fucking sugar in the coffee, right? And uh, it was very sweet. They did it very very sweet. Um, and so there was always sugar there. There was, there was, you know, we had the scooper that we had made in plastics at the junior high, mm. and that scooper is what we used to. The scooper was one cup, and it was two cups of sugar, and we had a big pitcher that made uh, four quarts of Kool Aid, so it was what, like fucking six scoops of sugar, bro, like we, and then a bunch of packets of this, this coloring it's grape red number it's whatever it's freaking the fuck. grape it's it's cherry it, come on but also dude my mom because uh i don't know how i got brought up but she said that water wasn't like what it is today like nobody was drinking water like that like bottled water like nobody would buy that it like, didn't know there was no bottled water no like the, the idea of buying bottled water was you're there, a sucker so when i was I want to say eighteen. It was the the these these New York seltzers came out, and it was the seltzer water that was flavored and had sugar, mm. and and it was like a soda, mm -hmm. but it was water. Gotcha. And so New York seltzers 
Have you seen them? No. Dude, they're still out there. No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Chiki, Google New York Seltzer and, and show the Hooter. But um, they they had these New York Seltzers, right? And that was a, the one of the first. And then Avion was mm-hmm. the water that was the from the French Alps. It was mm-hmm. this Avion. And so it was. Yes, it looks like that. You should you should check it out. Oh my god! Yep. Of course they sell that world market, bro. Oh, dude. So they were sweet and they were great, and so that was the first time I ever tried. And then Avion, I remember I was dating this girl, and I remember she had a bottle of Avion, and and I don't know how much she paid for it, but I was like, oh my, you paid for water? Like, I thought it was so foreign, right? She goes, oh well, it's Avion. And I was like, oh, okay, it's Avion. What's Avion? Oh, it's from France. Oh, well then, yeah, of course you paid for it. It's from France, you know? And so that was the first bottled water. But other than that, you drank from the water hose or from the faucet. Yeah. And and you didn't need as much water as you need today. They say, so. Why is that? So, okay. You know what's crazy is that I haven't seen these videos because I don't want to, but more than one person has sent me videos on how the bottled water that we're drinking today is dehydrating us. You're kidding me. No. And the more you drink, the more you need. So that's why I don't use chapstick. So chapstick, it dries your lips and and you need more chapstick. Tums kills the acid in mm-hmm. your fucking mm-hmm. uh, esophagus or whatever the fuck that is in your stomach, and you need more Tums. So mm-hmm. I stopped using Tums, right? And so the, supposedly they're putting shit in the water that's dehydrating you, and you need more water. Because I believe it. How much water are we drinking now? And it's like, oh, well, you need X amount of water. Well, okay. Well, what is this? And why is there so much of this, you know? You go to places like the desert, like Saudi Arabia, for instance, where there's no water out there. There's just a desert. Where are we going to get water? But they're, they got bottled water, a lot of it, a lot of bottled water. So I think that natural water is becoming a a natural resource that is limited Yeah, dude. for the amount of people that are around. So you're creating this concoction. I and believe it, And when you read it, it, what's in that bottle? I believe it, bro. And I so, believe it. So I'll send you the videos if you're interested in looking at them. I fucking believe it, dude, because... Because then I don't want to read them because I'm like, fuck. Everything's bad. Yes. You can't find anything that's fucking no, good. even water. Even water, bro. So they're like, okay, so all the bottled waters, and then they break them down. This one is this, and this one is this, and this one is this, and that's why you should use the filter, they say. So, mm. so at home, we have the filter. Mm-hmm. And I use the filter, I want to say, 80% of the time. Every once in a while, when I'm out and about and I'm thirsty and I need water, of yeah. course, I'll get a bottle of water. But 90% of the time, I'm drinking the filtered water. Or 80% of the time, I'm drinking the filtered water. So, And then you got to get the right filter. And then you got to test the water. I know, Dude, you got to um, fruit. You get fruit, you want to give it to your kids, you got to put a bunch of shit to wash out the fruit to get rid of all the goddamn pesticides, pesticides and all bro. that other shit. Well, so I started, uh, so my apples, mm-hmm. I started peeling them. Mm-hmm. That potato that. peeler. I, I saw that, dude. You saw I, what? I saw that. I saw the video where they it's wrapped in like this yeah. plasticky shit. It's horrible. It's horrible. And sometimes you're just hungry and you just want to eat the goddamn apple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But how is an apple gonna stay that red and shiny for that long? I know. You you take it home and it's red and shiny for a, for, for hey, this motherfucker still red and shiny. Looks like a candied apple. It looks like a candied apple. <laughs> I know. It's like the one they gave Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> how they fucked this bitch up. Yeah. Yeah, no. dude. It's it's um it's crazy, man. And and. And again, they send me these videos, and I'm and and they have all the waters, all of them, all the labels, and they show you, they test it all right there, and you're just like, oh my god! But it's one of those, 
God damn it, man. I'm already... I'm already paranoid about so many goddamn things. The, uh, you know where I'm at in my life right now? Yeah. Remember the GMO stage you went yes, through? Yes, yes. That's where I'm at. I want to throw away everything. I don't want to feed my kids anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm, because that's what, t- t- cancer. Mm-hmm. That's where it comes from. Cancer and not so, being able to fucking produ- reproduce. Okay, so, so, so you have enzymes in your body that break things down, right? And that's how you digest Mm -hmm. said things. (laughs) And um, a preservative preserves things. Right. It gives it a longer shelf life and it's not going anywhere, you know? If you get a, uh, um, if you get regular maize and um, water and you mix it and you make dough, Right. Um, <laughs> Go on. Why is this funny? Because, dude, the examples you choose to go with, no, bro. We can, can I finish? Yeah. Okay. I want and you to make a do. corn tortilla. You make a corn tortilla from scratch, right? And you put this corn tortilla, and you just leave it out. Mm-hmm. It'll start getting moldy. Yes. And then, the, and then it eventually, it will not be there. Mm. Okay. Now, if you get a shell, taco shell from Taco Bell that resembles a corn tortilla, you could let it sit there a month, two months, a year. A few years, bro. And it's still, nothing is making it green. Nothing. There's, there's a lot of preservatives there, right? So now, if the elements can't destroy it, what chance does your your body does not have enzymes to get rid of preservatives? So anything that has preservatives is going to exist somewhere in your body. It'll store itself, and then that's where you start getting these uh, these growths in your colon. Mm-hmm. That's where you start getting these growths everywhere else because it just it has to stick somewhere. Do you see dudes are getting colon cancer way younger now? Way younger. Way younger. I got tested. When did I get tested for the colon cancer, Cheeky? About five, six years ago? It was like six years ago. They found one baby polyp. Polyps is what develops into uh, uh, fissures that eventually turned into fucking um, uh, growth. That's how you get the colon cancer, right? So they found one baby one. The guy says, we got rid of it. You should be good for another 10 years. So every 10 years, you're supposed to get a colonoscopy mm-hmm. where, you know, and what the crazy part is, especially <sighs> Latinos mm-hmm. are so paranoid about anything going in their ass. Don't touch my asshole. That they would rather get cancer <laughs> than... Oh, te meter una cámara, eres puto, cabrón. Yeah. You know, or oh, they stuck a camera in your ass. Oh, you liked it? Did you like that shit, bro? They're so fucking crazy in that way mm-hmm. that there's they don't want nobody near their ass. They won't check their prostate. Finger in my ass. Dude, how many comedians have a joke about a finger in the ass? Yep. Because it's just so foreign for, for anything to go near your ass because, God forbid, you turn into they, them. <laughs> you know now you don't you don't identify as as a man anymore yeah and so so that i think is part of a uh a reason why there's a lot of undiagnosed cancers for men especially mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and and yeah colon cancer because there's so much shit that just stays in your if you've ever done the master cleanse where have you done it mm-hmm. the full 10 days yeah and and six days in, you're still shitting? You have not eaten a thing. Where is this shit coming from? It's stuff that is stuck to your intestines. It's stuck to your colon. And it's in there just going to just create problems for you. Yeah. It's going to create problems for you. Um, and, dude, back then, it wasn't so normal to go eat out all the time. No, everybody was cooking at home. It was a special occasion when you went to go eat out. Um, now more people eat out yes. than cook. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, there's um, 
It's fucked, ginger, bro. pineapple, and lime juice and cucumber. If you mix that concoction up, it's it's a natural uh, detoxifier for your intestines and your colon. Oh, that's cool. So I think I, I saw that on Instagram. I do that uh, when I'm home for a stretch. I'll make it and I'll and I'll do the I'll get the ginger, I'll get the freaking um, the lime and the cucumber and it is pretty refreshing to mm -hmm. be honest sometimes it sounds I'll, like it is sometimes i'll throw some protein powder in there you know i don't know if i should or not but fuck it i do uh uh not all the time because mm -hmm. a lot of times you just want it to just be the recipe that right, it is right, i don't right. need to be remixing remixing it. I, I i like to remix yeah, but sometimes you just you just gotta go with it right and so so i'll do that and boy i feel like i'm less bloated it feels good when i do that you know um but yeah no it's 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 shit what um like and it's and it's you're how old right now 32 yeah yeah i didn't go through that phase till i was like late 30s it's because dude i started seeing what we're giving the kids yeah and like what other kids are eating around them bro you oh, yeah. know yeah and i'm like wait a minute dude what like so many kids eat candy we hardly ever give our kids candy. frozen nuggets Dude, frozen, all that shit. Frozen, frozen goddamn nuggets. nuggets. Fucking, frozen, frozen anything waffles, is horrible. Fucking frozen, all that shit. The yes. problem is they made it so convenient. Convenient and you know, cheap. Especially like, bro, you have three kids. What are you going to do? Make fucking eggs and bacon every goddamn morning? You know no, what I mean? No. So you, you, you start getting these things that are just convenient and quick and easy. Like, fuck, mm -hmm. even the kids could pop Trustables. fucking. Yeah, exactly. The kids could fucking pop waffles in the goddamn toaster. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So mm. it, they get you that way, but dude, it is scary time, bro. Yeah. But I just said all this to say, your boy weighs in at two seventeen strong. Now, I haven't seen that weight since before Miki, since before I had Miki, and the other, and before I had my other two boys. But hey, the thirty two. I mean, I'm that's young still, y'all. That's, I'm young still, dude. So oh. of course I am seeing two seventeen. The fuck, you know? Uh huh. LeBron James is dunking. How old is he? Forty. Yes. <laughs> he, I can't see two seventeen, bro. He's not. LeBron's two seventeen. No, no, no. I'm saying he's oh. dunking at forty. Okay. I'm thirty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could yeah. see two seventeen. You could see two seventeen. You, know you know should I mean? see two seventeen. You should see lower than that. But the problem is, I'm at two seventeen, and I want to keep going. But I want to eat like good stuff bro like so where do i get that stuff and that's the thing because even if it says organic it don't matter it don't matter man it don't matter it don't matter i don't know where you get it i don't know what's real anymore exactly it, and it and it is scary when you don't know what the fuck to eat and that's why so many people like even all the meat it's just glued together bro processed you know like when you eat the, the like a, a sandwich mm-hmm It's fucked, bro. But it's the ham is good. God damn it. That honey ham is a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I like the Black Forest. I love the Black Forest, bro. <laughs> God, I love the Black Forest. Oh, shit. Sons I don't, you know, and I used to tell you GMOs, Jen, you're like, yeah, hey, yeah, whatever. I'll have a Big Mac. <laughs> you didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit. Bro, yeah. I, I. I, How do you think they sell you two tacos for 99 cents at goddamn Jack in the Box? Literally. What do you think they're putting in those tacos? Me? Bro. Come on. No, it's fucked. And and again, we it is convenient. And, you know, a lot of times there is no time to make home-cooked mm -hmm. meals. Mm -hmm. Or to teach your kid how to make themselves a, a, a home-cooked meal. But it's a big price to pay because the diseases are real. Oh yeah, the diseases bro. are real. Diabetes is so huge because there's everything. Bread has sugar. Mm -hmm. Everything has sugar. They're putting sugar in everything, and so you know, back in the day, at least we put our own sugar in, and it was real sugar. That's the thing, which was bad, but at least it was real sugar. Now, it's the goddamn um um corn syrup. Corn syrup, dude. Do you know that we used to have corn syrup? in a gallon of corn syrup that we used to do for the pancakes. Damn. But it was probably like a dollar. 
Yeah, of course. I want an Aunt Jemima. No, no Aunt Jemima. Corn syrup. Miel caro, it used to be called. <laughs> they still sell it at, 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 at Smart and Final. God damn. And it says right there, corn syrup. You know? But when, you know, you're on a budget, that's and you the got all other these thing, goddamn dude. kids you got to feed. That's the other thing, bro. Bro, Top Ramen? You know how many kids eat Top Ramen? A ton. A ton, bro. <sighs> Every once in a while, I'll fuck up a ramen. <laughs> I will. I haven't in a while. I haven't in a while. But every once in a while, I'll fuck up a ramen. And when you go to one of those ramen places, what do you think they're giving yeah, you? No, dude. I'm, the birria ramen? Guess what, bro? It's ramen. <laughs> <laughs> it's still ramen. No, that's so fucked, dude. Yeah. But, I mean, you know. It's it's um, and back in the day they used to have these things called TV, TV dinners. Oh yeah, dude! Before the microwave, and uh, bro, when I was a kid, I remember I wanted the hungry man dinner. Yeah, bro. Swanson. You know, you know, Tucker Carlson's family owns that 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 company, right? No. Yeah. The Swanson hungry man dinner loaded, the, loaded beyond loaded. You know, your boy Tuckums. <laughs> um, <laughs> We were in, um, so it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. Yeah, it's supposed to start in a few hours. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we were in Columbus. Mm -hmm. And there was no storm watch. <laughs> there was no nothing. The weather was like 17 degrees, but with the wind, oh it, felt, it felt like it was five. It's like five degrees. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on the news. Nothing. Nothing. Everybody just minding their business. Doing that. Those are motherfucker on a bicycle. Of course. At two in the morning. Okay. And uh I remember I uh, you know, they're like, Yeah, it's it's cold, man. We we get weather. And I looked at them and I said, you know, we had a blizzard in California, so we get it, bro. We we know what you guys go. He looked at me, he wanted to slap me. Oh yeah, bro. He wanted to fucking <laughs> slap me, bro. Um I was gonna tell you, remember when we went to uh chicago we we're talking about it this last time we we're in chicago and we stopped at popeyes mm -hmm. and they didn't want to make our order yeah okay so late night after the show it's like 1 30 in the morning maybe two and we all pile into the suv let's go get some food you know look in the map there's a Taco Bell that's open till three. Yikes, bro. Okay. And so we go to the Taco Bell, and as we're pulling in, there's some two chicks at the door that come running out. They just start waving us away. Kitchen's closed. Oh, workers. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we're like, well, all right, let's go across the street to McDonald's. Kitchen's closed. Whatever, right? So, next day, you know, let's go get something to eat. I'll maybe try to talk about again, you know. Maybe they fixed whatever was going on in their kitchen. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We go. Nobody's waving us away. We get to the, to the, can I take your, welcome to talk about, can I take your order? There's six motherfuckers in the car. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Fluffy orders extra stuff just because a lot of times they fuck up. We start ordering. And um, and the chick, oh, well, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, okay. She's like, and then she comes back. Okay, keep going. And I need five of these. No, 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 you can't do five. I can do one. You're kidding. What? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, how many you want? Five. Okay. And then to the full order. It's a big order. And um, we pull up. And the chick <laughs> says, you know, it's going to take about 20 minutes, maybe longer, to get the order. Because whatever the fuck reason mm -hmm. is. And then, you know. We're all frustrated, right? And I'm trying not to just lose it. And I'm like, and then 
Gabe says, you don't want to make this order, do you? And then this other bitch says, well, if you want raw meat, we can give you raw meat. No way. I don't want raw meat. What, what I'm telling you is you should go park. It's going to be about 20 minutes, but maybe longer. We can't guarantee it. I'm like, okay, this is fast food. This is Taco Bell. And I'm like, first of all. And then, and then I said, hey, man, we came by yesterday. Somebody waved us away. Oh, it's because we were understaffed. So you stayed open, you're still getting paid. I didn't say that, but in my head, I'm like, so you stayed open, you're still getting paid, but you're waving people away. And today, you're telling motherfuckers, oh, and then they say you have to have exact change is the only way you can pay. Oh At this point, God. I'm fucking furious. Not because I want Taco Bell. You know, not because my heart set on top. I could go to bed without eating at this point, right? I don't give a shit, but mm -hmm. I've had a few drinks. I don't mind a goddamn burrito supreme. <sighs> I'm like, if I was the owner oh, of dude. this fucking Taco Bell, I would be fuming that I'm paying these motherfuckers, that I'm paying these motherfuckers to, to a, turn people or tell them, you don't want to wait, do you? I it, it reminded me of that time when we went to the Popeyes and ordered the big order, and she said, "Oh well, are you sure you want it? Because it's going to take X amount of time." Well, that's Give everybody's. Me that's everybody's move now, dude. It's crazy. Nobody wants to work. Uh, and I'm not saying that you should bust your ass. It's fast food. Don't bust your ass. I'm, I'm do it at your own pace, but don't send people away when you're getting paid to fucking work, bro. Sometimes we'll go down the drive-thru uh, and, and there's one Mexican lady that's working the goddamn drive-thru and that bitch is cooking, she's taking the orders, she's sweeping, mm -hmm. she's she's doing everything. Mm -hmm. She's not waving nobody away and she's got a long-ass line because it's just, a, the bar's just closed. Come on, man. It, it's so frustrating. It, it's so frustrating. As, like, I'm not, I don't own a business like that. But if I did, I would be furious, furious that I'm paying you so that you could turn away business? Ooh. What the? F uh, anyway. That one order could have covered. Their salary. Easy. Or their, their shift. The day's, the day's the shift, work for the sure. The day's work for sure. For sure. Anyway. Dude, so on Saturday, um, the mayor of Carson, Beto Duran, invited me to some fights. Mm -hmm. And it was at the Long Beach, um, Cal State, Long Beach, yeah. University, the Pyramid, yep, where yep. they play basketball. Yep. Dude, now. There was a lot of celebrities there? Well. Oh, well, I had told you. Remember, he had hit me up to influence. Yes. yes so, yes, boy, yes. did I show up influencing. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, dude. I pulled up. I did was, you take the family? Uh, no, well, some of my familia. Okay. It was me and Pilla. Uh -huh. Pilla. Uh -huh. Fucking Steve-O. Uh -huh. His lady. Steve-O, Steve-O lady. The Steve-O lady. Uh -huh. And then... <laughs> So we go, I look around, I say, holy fuck, look at all this familia here. I see fucking Jesus Sepulveda. Oh, I shit. I see Beto Duran, Beto Duran's homie, fucking Razo Dog was there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Piolin? Fucking, uh, yeah, Piolin was there, bro. Um, um, ah, uh, what the fuck's that boxer's name, bro? Oh. Oscar de la Hoya was there. Oh, Oscar nice. was there. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude, that fool showed up. Oh, shit. Bro, so, so then I'm like, uh, everybody's like, yo, where's your dad? Yada yada. I was like, oh, you gotta, he's in blah blah blah. And they're like, oh, fucking, it was in Long Beach here. We, we were hoping maybe Fluff would pull up, bring your dad. And so, where I was sitting, Fluff was gonna sit. So, I mean, oh, it, funny how that works, you know? Well, like, as an influencer, you, you get perks. <laughs> so now, do me and Fluff get the same seats at places? Yes. Do we have the same hibachi guy? Yes. Is big it a shout, big... big shout out to Mexicana on the hibachi bar? It, is it a big hibachi deal? Hibachi bar? No. The, the, hibachi grill. Hibachi grill. Yes. Now, is it a big deal? No. Of NBD. course not, dude. It's not a big deal. But do it's we just... have the same guy? Yes. <laughs> do we have the same seats? Yes. Did you have the same barber at one point? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, dude, <laughs> dude, we had the same t-shirt guy. Like, he'd make my merch, he'd make fresh merch. I mean, dude, it, 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 I mean, bro, uh, our worlds are pretty much same Intertwined. Thing. Yeah, bro. I mean, dude, come dude, on. Sometimes I go to Taco Bell, too, bro. 
And so <laughs> me and Fluff have pretty much the same shit going on. Now, uh huh. We go to these fights, and uh, you know, we're chilling, sitting ringside, bro. You bet they'll hooked us up clean, you know. Uh huh. And uh, ringside. Oh yeah, bro. Ringside yeah, seats. Well, you know how oh, I do, bro. All right, all right. At the pyramid, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this was my first live boxing event, dude. Oh. Wow. I've been to a lot of, not a lot, but a handful of them for sure. The ring is way smaller live than and I on thought. on television. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And the boxers? Mm-hmm. As tall as this water bottle. They're petite. They're tiny, dude. Yeah. On TV, they look ginormous. Like they fucking stomp me well, out. The camera adds ten pounds, right? and apparently six inches too. Because yeah, um, yeah, that's why porn guys look so big. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> yes, yes. It's the camera. Um, so there's this homie fighting, right? His uh -huh. name is Joseph Diaz Jr., and he's from El Monte. Yep. And there's some El Monte people in the house, and boy, bro, they're coaching him. Throughout the whole fucking fight. And you know when fucking Was this Saturday? Yeah. Okay. And you know when drunk cholos are out there coaching, bro. Yeah. It's the funniest shit. Yeah. Quit playing with them, Jojo. <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> Quit playing with them, Jojo. Show hey, show them how El Monte does it, homie. <laughs> Bro, this fucking guy had everybody ringside R rolling. Fucking rolling, bro. So then this paisa comes in. Yeah. Vamonos, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we fell the fuck out. Oh, that's so funny. So yo, yo ends up losing, bro. Oh, no. To a Filipino guy. Oh, worse. Oh, yeah. But the Filipino guy, boy, was he, he was, he was, yeah, he was good, bro. Little fucking Pacquiao influence. But, yeah, but the JoJo guy was uh -huh. like a, a Oscar guy. He like, oh. he was molding him, you know. Molding him. So it was kind of a bad look. But, dude, there were good fights. From there, we leave. The homie, Senor IPA, hit us on a comment and said, oh, there's a taco place by the pyramid. You should hit it after. My drunk ass after the boxing fights. Yo, Senor IPA, where is it, bro? So I, I'm cruising the streets of Strong Beach, bro. I see it. Boom, let's go. We hit it. So you're driving loaded? No, no, no. Oh. My homie's uh, chick uh, drove us. Uh -huh. So we go. In that same plaza, mm -hmm. there's a liquor store. Mm -hmm. So you're drinking tacos and eating beer. I go to the liquor store. Grab a quick 12-er of Pacifico, come back to my spot, hand the taco guys a beer. By the way, Pacifico's full of GMOs. <laughs> but carry on. <laughs> Mr. Healthy. <laughs> That's why you're only at 117. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I hand the taco guys fucking a beer. Mm -hmm. This homie with a Culiacan hat. Y a mi, y a mi que wey. And I was like, <laughs> What's up, man? You want a beer, bro? Just fucking <laughs> ask for one, guy. <laughs> and so I was like, you want one? But see, way. And I was like, all right, cool. And then I saw he was with his dad, so I gave him two. And fucking everybody's eating tacos, drinking beer there, bro. It was the best shit ever. Where are Long Beach? It was on Atherton and Clark. Oh, on that side. Yeah. That's a nice side. I know. Yeah. They have a, uh, a, a farmer's market there yeah. on the weekends. Yeah. No, yeah, dude. It, I, I was not ready. Yeah, dude. that's where the freaking the, 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 the rich people live. Yeah, in bro. Senor IPA, dude. Wow. Yeah. Good for him. Mm -hmm. um, dude, it's so funny that you ran into an El Monte dude. Mm -hmm. Because on Sunday, mm -hmm. um, when me and Alfred did the show in Columbus, mm -hmm. by the uh, by the way, the shows in Columbus were freaking epic. Um, it's it's always a great crowd over there. But when we did our show on Sunday, some dude showed up, mm -hmm. and his girlfriend comes up to me and she goes, "Hey," she says, "Hey man, uh, so awesome to see you guys. Really excited, yada yada." She goes, um, "My uh, my boyfriend introduced me to you." I go, oh, "Yeah." She goes, "Yeah, he's from El Monte." Mm -hmm. 
And I go, it's from El Monte. And she goes, yeah. Uh, I go, how long have you guys been out here? She goes, 12 years. I go, oh, wow. So you're you're out here. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so after the show, he comes up. We're taking a picture. <laughs> goes, where's Hooter? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> That was the same guy, bro. Yes. After the nice. fights, he flew to Columbus <laughs> to go watch you guys, bro. And and uh, and I go, oh, you're the dude from El Monte. He goes, oh yeah. He goes, you know, I listen to the yo 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 podcast, and you guys are always talking about blah 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 and yada yada. I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. That's so funny to hear a homie in in Columbus listening to the yo 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 podcast. That's, hey, listen, yeah. we got fans in and there's there's people listening in Germany right now. That's what's so big up. shout out to all the German fans and people at the Vatican always <laughs> send me shout outs too, which is fantastic. They say that the Pope kinda it's his guilty pleasure. Oh he likes to listen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> but then he gets scared with Brujo one oh one because uh, that's when he starts praying. Um let is almost over, Hooter. Oh, dude, I know, bro. Almost time to eat That's meat it. Again. It's almost time to fucking <laughs> let go and let, let go of everything and go back to being oh, a piece of shit. God damn it. Yeah, and it's almost uh, Easter. Yeah. Um, it's crazy because my kids are on spring break already. That's crazy. Well, schools don't want it to be related to Jesus. Ah. I know. I'm sorry, Pope. It's it's uh, not it's like not Florida, me, huh? It's not me. It's the fucking schools. It's a... Uh, uh, Dude, they're trying to pass a law. I forget where. Speaking of schools, don't want it to be Jesus, because some schools do want it to be Jesus. Um, where if you're in elementary school, mm-hmm. you can't talk about anything related to sex. Oh yeah, no periods. No, no period. Nothing. Yeah. So if you got a little girl in fifth grade and she gets her period, no teacher can legally talk to her without getting in trouble. Which is happening, by the way. Girls Already. are having their fucking periods in like super young. The two GMOs. No, I, I know. I know. And the vaccine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so much misinformation here. Uh- <laughs> no, that was good. The, but uh-huh. dude, it's so fucking it's retarded because Santa Monica, do they have Good Friday off? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. The Friday before Easter? No. No, no, no. Oh, they're on spring oh. break. Oh, oh, you guys link it with Jesus? No, 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 with the Easter Bunny. Mm. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Jesus gives you two weeks then. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, this is the new Jesus. <laughs> He's Union Jesus. <laughs> He's Union oh, okay, Jesus. Okay, that's the name of the episode. Union, Union Jesus, Jesus. Hilarious, bro. Dude, the teachers, they're fucking out. They're on strike. I know. LAUSD. The teachers or the, the support staff? I think all, well, the teachers stand with the support staff, bro. The Ninas too? Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. The they're Ninas, out there marching? The, bro, the Ninas can't wait to get a day off for, to go march, bro, oh, instead my of fucking God. teach those kids. Do they get paid? You, well, you, dude, the un- I'm assuming... I'm a guessing. Well, dude, the Nina has like five fucking years to t- take, to take off, off and still get yeah, paid, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So yeah, I saw them out there because I guess they're making less than twenty five k a year. The support or whatever. Who is it? Like the cafeteria people and shit. Who like knows? That? But they're making less than, which is less than the poverty level mm. in Los Angeles. You know, and the why is that funny? <laughs> I want to know what's so funny about hardworking people. Because don't they work like half a day, bro? (laughs) (laughs) Don't cafeteria workers leave like at lunch, dog? Like, that's it. To clean shut up and then they got to prep the breakfast. (laughs) (laughs) They got to call in for more GMOs and more milk to give to these little fucks. No Uh, shot a cafeteria lady works eight hours. Yeah, they work eight hours, dude. Damn, that's shitty then. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cafeteria. I don't know who it is that's not getting. But the, but they say that 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 it's twenty five. It's what they're making, right? Mm-hmm. And um and that's not a good wage for them. But you know, I always see this goddamn lottery that's billions now, or or a billion, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. six hundred million. Mm-hmm. And I remember when they sold us the lottery here in California, and it's gonna go to benefit schools. What schools are benefiting from this lottery? 
if if the fucking workers are getting <laughs> twenty five G's a year, where the fuck is this money going? And then if you get the money, you don't get all of it. And it, and the banks are failing. So what is happening with this goddamn money? Dude, this episode <laughs> has been such a, we're doomed. <laughs> you can't eat food. And this the banks are failing. And girls can't uh, talk about the period. And girls can't talk about the period. That's crazy. Hey, dude, Trump's getting arrested? What the fuck? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, supposedly, he's going to get arrested tomorrow. And, um, I, dude, I find that very hard to believe. Roy Woods Jr. had such a good joke about that. He said about getting that, arrested? Yeah. What did he say? Uh, he said that Trump wants to come off as a hard motherfucker from the streets. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you want to do is arrest him because motherfuckers who go into jail and then come out are the hardest motherfuckers out on the streets bro <laughs> <laughs> you get instant street cred oh you get instant street cred he th he would probably bro he'd take over like miklo bro <laughs> he'd run it bro he'd run it did you ever see that that movie um i don't know what it's called Shawshank redemption no <laughs> but it's this dude just a regular dude, man. And he's got a family. He's just a fucking hardworking guy. He's got a family. And some guy breaks into the house. And uh, he ends up shooting the guy. And he goes to jail. And when he goes to jail, he ends up running the Aryan fucking brotherhood. Damn. And then, like, he gets out. That but, sounds so familiar, But dude. then he's in. But he's still in. And then, like... um well, he he's still not running it, but he's he's still in, and he has to do this, and he has to do that, and then they fucking set him up, and he goes back, and when he goes back, boy, does he he takes out the biggest wig of them all, and now he's the fucking guy. Man, it's it's so it's such a good movie, but is it a black movie? No, no, white. Mm. So, yeah, he's white. He white. <laughs> um, you know what I want to see? Hmm. Black Klansman. It's a Spike Lee joint. Mm. And um, it's a true story about a black cop in the 70s who infiltrated the KKK. He used the white cop, but he's the one that was making all the moves. Damn, that's sick. I want to watch that shit. Yeah, that's tight. Um, but yeah, dude, it's, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think they're going to, bro, if they arrest Trump, I think his followers are going to just go ape shit, dude. I think so, too. I think they would go ape shit. I think so too. Um, it, it, I think that's why you can't arrest them. But it's gonna go insane. People are gonna go fucking insane. What's he gonna get arrested for, by the way? The hush money to Stormy Daniels. Mm. Uh, misappropriation of campaign funds. He used campaign funds to hush shut, hush her up. Yes. He sent. His attorney, Michael Cohen. That's hysterical, bro. <laughs> but this is part of the campaign. I was just about to say, if there I, was I ever, can't win the presidency bro, if I'm fucking a whore. If there was ever a time to spend that fucking money. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I would think it's a good investment, right? I mean, we got to hush this bitch up. <laughs> this is going to ruin the campaign. <laughs> that is bullshit, um, bro. So, so, yeah, so... The dude that arranged the payment with his direction was his attorney, Michael Cohen, mm -hmm. who's been in jail for over a year for that. Wow. For listening to him. He told him to do it. There's proof that he told him to do it. He did it under his direction, and he's locked up, and the shot caller- And it was his job. What's that? And it was his job. And the shot caller is not- uh, so this is why there's a good chance that he might get indicted, you know? Mm. Um, I think it'd be on Indicted TV with your host, Negra. <laughs> I haven't seen that. What is that? It's the podcast I told you about last time with the host, Negra, and she interviews uh -oh. fucking fools who have been indicted. I still haven't seen it. It's the funniest shit, bro. I refuse to see it if it's called Negra. It sounds racist. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of racist, oh no! 
I was at a bar the other day, mm-hmm. and um, there's this dude sitting next to me, older white guy, and he's loaded. You mm-hmm. can tell he's loaded, and he's being loud, you know, and he's there with his chick. And uh, and he, and the bartender, super cool dude, mm-hmm. black with a mohawk. And well, now, what does that have to do? Well, let me finish. And so this motherfucker goes, hey, Mr. T. Oh, no. And and then starts laughing hysterically like it's the wittiest thing oh, he's no. ever fucking said. And the guy, the bartender's probably like in his 20s, bro. Mm-hmm. And I forget Mr. T's name. Um, it escapes me right now. But he said, oh, blah, 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 you know. And the dude said, um, "Huh?" Like he didn't even know, <laughs> right? And I and I now I'm just sitting there. Now I'm kind of, this is cringe, like right. the kids say, right, right. you know? Yeah, it is, dude. And and the guy just thinks it's so funny, and he keeps laughing, and he's telling the girl, <laughs> "Mr. T," <laughs> and and I'm Goofy like, Jesus ass. "Fucking Christ!" Right? And and the guy goes, "Yep, that's the first time I've ever heard that." And the guy goes, "Really?" Do you hear that? And he's so proud of himself. The sarcasm is completely Zoom. lost on him. But he's in his defense, he's old, he's loaded. And I'm like, you know, if it's unfortunately, it's not the first time I've heard an older white guy call a black guy with a mohawk Mr. T. Now, that's, I mean. Coincidence? I think not. No, but it's kind of fucking, it's it's like, you know, when, like, look, and I'm not one to, to, to play the race card, per <laughs> se. You know, I think a lot of lives matter. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Many lives matter. Okay. Now, but. To just call black dudes with a mohawk Mr. T. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's kind of fucked up, bro. That's pretty fucking shitty. That's I seen a Mexican and calling him Paco. For hey, no Paco. Hey, well, Paco. Which, they, which he probably does. Easily. I'm sure that if he sees a motherfucker with a lawnmower, hey, Paco, yeah. turn down your leaf blower. I can't hear myself think. God damn it. That guy loves the bird at Disneyland, oh, by the way. Dude, that's he his loves favorite the fucking bird. attraction that's there. his favorite attraction. And fucking the siestas are getting shorter and shorter. This guy that calls these dudes Mr. T loves that bird. Loves the bird. What, dude? Loves him. Ka-ka! <laughs> dude. Yeah. So you know how like in comedy when they hit you up and they're like, hey, man, can you come do my spot? And then you get there and you end up fucking having to close the fucking yeah. bar? Yeah. Okay. So your boy, Beto Duran, pulled that type of shit on me. He hits me up and he's like, hey, man, April 1st, there's an all-star high school basketball game and they need a PA announcer. You down to do it? I said, oh, come on, man. He said, no, no, no. You just three-pointer by Mateo Duran. And I said, oh, okay, yeah. And I'll take Meeks. Um, Pilla's nephew or Pilla's cousin is going to be on the, uh, in the game. I said, oh, yeah. April we'll 1st? Go. April 1st. I thought you weren't going to be here. Oh, no, you'll be here. Yeah, I'll be here. April 1st, uh, I say, oh, all right, cool. So then I see him at the boxing place, right? And he's like, hey, so April 1st, right? You're still good? I say, yeah, I'm good. I told Pillow about it. I told the kids we're all going to go check it out. Okay, cool. So they also want you to put a little, you know, they want you to jazz it up as a PA announcer. And I say, mother... Fucker. The game's in the refrigerator and the jello's jiggling. <laughs> so I look at him, right? So I look at him and I say, So now I have to dance around like it's fucking and one mixtape guy? <laughs> no, no, no. Not that much. I said, Oh, no. Oh, okay. Is, uh, is the more fucking, Harlem Globe? I was about to say, is the game at fucking Rucker Park, asshole? Oh like, come God. on, to, is it, you no, know, like you know, be funny with it. Like, wow, that three pointer was all the way from Whittier. How does cricket sound? Nice. <laughs> I 
started melting on my chair. Then I and then and then the ringside seats made sense. Yeah. I said, "Oh, these came." Yeah. With a price. He threw that shot up like the house of Pantagenes. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, you see all these motherfuckers getting hurt in the the world, the baseball world classic. Dude, bro. Dude, dude. Yeah, I'm, Man, now here's the deal. These yeah. games have been so exciting. No, they've been good games. And the best games. Yes. Now, did, and- did Mexico win? They fucking lost, bro. Oh, Japan came back. Wow. Japan came back and wow. hit a walk off. Damn. Now, if you're an MLB owner, bro, you're fucking. <laughs> what are you doing, y'all? There's fuck? no way. And you have Otani out there. You have Mike Trout out there. Uh-huh. You have Mookie Betts out uh-huh. there. There's no yeah. fucking Dude, way this th- is happening again. Uh, you don't think so? Fuck no. There's too much money. Yeah. Is it that that guy for the Mets, he's gone for the, the closer. season. The closer, he's and gone he for the season. He is a fucking animal. He, we, we, we. Celebrating. <laughs> the trumpets. Yeah, dude. I, he got hurt celebrating. Celebrating. And then your boy fucking needs surgery in his hand. Who? Freeman? No. Freeman got hurt too. Uh, what's his name? Um, that got hurt. Uh, uh two nights ago, Kiki. Kike? Kike? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, dude. I think he needs surgery. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's fucking out for a while, too. Dude, there was some bastard on some team. I don't know. It was some godforsaken country, right? Uh-huh. And they were playing the Dominican. Mm-hmm. And you saw the Dominican lineup. I mean, it was yeah. crazy, right? Uh-huh. So he fucking comes in. He's like this nobody, you know? He comes in in a high pressure situation, mm-hmm. strikes three fools in a, out in a row. Thirty minutes later, his country gets a call. Somebody signed him. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, I think the Blue Jay signed him or something. The Twins, one of those teams. Wow, isn't that insane? That's crazy. Yeah. But that was the test. If you could get through these fucking Dominican fucks, if you could get through these Dominican poppies, bro, you got a fucking contract. <laughs> like fucking Scarfy, you got a yeah, man. You got a yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I, I'm pretty sure it was Kiki that got that got hurt. Who got hurt like with Kiki, an, an, an the hand or on the wrist the other day? That's so fucked up, man. Um, that is so fucked. World baseball classic injuries. <laughs> yeah, what there a, it is, bro. Oh, Twitter ain't working right now. Fucking Twitter ain't Twittering. Twitter ain't Twittering. God damn it, dude. Yeah, bro, that's too much money lost. Um, but I mean, could you could you say that they would have gotten hurt anyway, dude? I don't know. <laughs> uh, like in in spring training. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. And all these guys have huge contracts like Trey Turner, fucking Mookie, Freddie Freeman, all those fools on the Dominican team. It's crazy. Even Mexico team, uh, Arroz Arena, mm-hmm. that fool. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's going to happen. No, like Altuve. That. Altuve. He's the one that got hurt? Yep. Oh, no. That other little fuck. <laughs> uh, Astro star to undergo surgery for fractured thumb. <laughs> yeah dude yeah dude that's a that's 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 big and and the thing is is like it's not like it's grossing like a world cup you know no but i think this year it got put on the map more it, it so did. than anywhere else, that at any other time and when you talk about look the U.S. has the balls to call it the World Series. Mm-hmm. This is the real World Series, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and um, and but Arosamena, he dude, isn't he Cuban? Dude, he's Cuban. He, you know how much he was making in Cuba as the best baseball player on the fucking island? Thirty-eight dollars a month. But there you went. And the cafeteria workers are bitching about 25000 <laughs> So this motherfucker 
flees wow. the island. Well, so yeah. the, and then they didn't let him travel outside of the island because they were like, "This motherfucker's gonna leave." Yeah, of course. And so he flees to Mexico, goes to TJ, tries out for the TJ baseball team. Of course, makes it so broke he had to use other people's uh, cleats and batting gloves. He played there for I don't know how many months, maybe a few years. I, I don't. My timeline's fucked. But then the Cardinals give him a contract, and now he has his family over here. But dude, so then he's he he writes to the president in Mexico and says, "Dude, I want to be on your baseball team. Please give me citizenship so I could be on your baseball team, so I could play Cuba and I could beat the fuck out of them." Damn. And the president did it. Yeah, no, dude, they were uh the in Miami they were protesting the Cuban team being there. Oh, it's fucked up, man. But I mean. What fault is it of theirs? No, it's not. It's not it's their not. fault, you know? Um, anyway, well, yeah. There that, you go, posting. That, how it's paradise. There you go. <laughs> Keep posting. Backing huh? up the government. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Fucking yeah. little Fidel. Are man. you going to go march for Trump? <laughs> Are you going to go march? <laughs> uh, Fidelito. Fidelito. Cock sucking pig. Um uh yeah that's 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 bananas that, and puig wanted to play for mexico too oh shit and they told him no oh, no nah, that motherfucker <laughs> he's a wild card bro <laughs> he's a wild horse <laughs> um yeah no he wanted to play for mexico too and i uh, well nada but yeah dude i think this time it was really getting put on the map dude trey turner who's been in fucking big time playoff games yeah. big time like call it for high school mm -hmm. and Napu said that the a uh, home run he hit the other day was the biggest. Was the biggest he's ever. Yeah, because it has this. It has a. It's you're literally playing other countries. Yeah, yeah. it's bananas. It's 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 like the World Cup. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, it's not making the money the World Cup, right. but but I'm sure that it intensity has, and the feeling. But no, no, no. But I think it has the potential to get there. I think so too. It, it's it, it's just, I what I think is fucked up is that the they the the games were like on. FS2 and Dude, shit like why? that. Why? Like, why? Why is nobody covering this? Because like, there's enough interest. There's enough people watch. I'm dude. I was watching this yeah, fucking thing. Yeah. You know, like right now, like I'm not gonna start. Like the the I was following this more than I was following the the, the Spring goddamn training? March Madness. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Like the, yeah. I usually don't tune in until like right around free, unless sweet it's like something exciting. The Sweet Sixteen, exactly. Yeah. But before the Sweet Sixteen, unless there's like a team that's like kind mm -hmm. of like making a lot, a lot of noise, it's mm -hmm. like yeah, you know. Um, Your boys yeah, from UCLA are in. I know, dude. They're killing it. Yeah. I think they're gonna go you pretty think? far. Yeah, yeah. That's what they say every year. Whatever. I know, I know. But they're looking. Good. I know. <laughs> and everybody's out. But dude, oh, I was gonna say something else about the fucking World Baseball Classic. <sighs> Miami, son of a bitch. Venezuela. Yeah, I think they would. Puerto they're Rico. gonna add more teams and shit, dude, for sure. Yeah. Um, and then like it'd be cool, you know, Mexico. They have a bunch of stadiums to ha to host those oh, yeah. games and shit. Oh yeah. I do. I, I, I would. If you stop them from going, I don't know, but yeah, but when you've got that much money invested, yeah, hey, monkey, you're not going. That's the problem. Kershaw dude. didn't go. No. But he's he's fragile. <laughs> he's old. Yeah, dude. You know. Um, like I said, all those guys have crazy contracts. Yeah. Yeah, you can't put it at risk. No, oh, that's what I was going to say. Mookie Betts. So the manager, I guess, was trying to be cool with everybody on the USA team and play everybody. Mm -hmm. And Mookie, you know how they lost to Mexico? Mm -hmm. And Mookie was like, hey, man, stop worrying about people's feelings and play the best people. That's fair. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to do? Rotate yeah, everybody? But they, they, this isn't fucking Little League. Guy. No. No. And I gr granted it is kind of like an exhibition type of thing, mm -hmm. but it's not. But the it's competition not. was real, mm -hmm. and the passion the was passion, real. The passion, bro. Bro, they started throwing shit at, at <laughs> fucking <laughs> what's his name, <net? laughs> fucking triple X. People are fucking fuck. crazy, bro. Dude, fucking. Did bananas. you see they couldn't? It was so funny. There was this meme because mm -hmm. Puerto Rico played Mexico, mm -hmm. and they said this game is if your job is to tell people to sit down. It's your fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So please take a seat. It's your fucking nightmare game. 
dude, yeah, dude. Mexicans and Puerto Ricans, are oh, you bro, crazy? Forget it. Good are luck. Are you crazy? So Alfred pointed out that they were, because the, Puerto Rico took the lead in the first inning, mm -hmm. and um, and all they kept playing was reggaeton music. Mm. And once Mexico took the lead, they switched it to banda. Mm. And that's when, and then they were everyone, and then he goes, and that's when we knew we weren't gonna lose. <laughs> and I'll, and then fucking tangos. If I would have been the reporter, I would have been like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny as fuck. Yeah, that would have been funny. <laughs> Uh, All the Mexicans anyway. would have appreciated that shit. You got anything else? Nah, I'm good. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Yo 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 podcast. Uh, have a uh, great goddamn Lent and <laughs> Easter and things. And, uh, and spring. Happy spring. It's here. Peace.